News Defense. The newly acquired FADS or specifically called Spider Philippines Air Defense System, SPADS, is a mobile air and missile defense system designed to protect critical installations, land-based fixed assets, mobile platforms, and friendly forces from aerial threats, such as combat aircraft, attack helicopters, unmanned air vehicles, incoming missiles, guided munition, and rockets. In certain cases, it may also be used to neutralize surveillance threats, Castillo said. Also known as SPADS, it is classified as a medium-range air defense missile system and is capable of low-level, quick reaction interception. Spider is short for surface-to-air Python and Derby mobile air defense missiles. The GBADS is also the PAF's secondary air defense cover after manned fighter aircraft with the role currently being undertaken by the Air Force's FA-50 PH fleet. The Philippines is one of two countries in the Southeast Asian region operating this advanced missile system, aside from Singapore. Castillo also said the GBADS is an acquisition project under Horizon 2 of the AFP modernization program. The first two BADS batteries were delivered on September 24 and 29, respectively, while the third battery is expected to be delivered on May 24, 2024. A typical PAF BADS battery consists of a command and control unit, three main firing units equipped with four missile launchers, along with two support vehicles for field service and munition resupply. The BADS contract is worth PHP 6.8 million and includes integrated logistics support, a simulator, a missile repair facility, and Air Defense Systems missile training for personnel. The Department of National Defense signed the GBADS contract with the Israel Ministry of Defense and Rafael Advanced Defense System on September 23, 2019. Marcos earlier said the GBADS will boost the Air Force's capability to defend and protect the country's territories from airborne threats. It is for this reason, that we strengthen our country's capabilities in territorial defense, counterterrorism, and internal security. In keeping our defense systems updated with the latest technology, we fortify our capabilities to provide humanitarian assistance to respond immediately in times of calamities and disasters. With terrorism and external security threats brought by geopolitical tensions looming around us, around the Asia-Pacific region, and around the world, it is imperative that we continue to equip and empower ourselves in whatever capacity we are able, Marcos added. Castillo also said that BADS will complement the Air Force's integrated air defense system, IADS, one of the core systems of the PAF. With a dependable GBADS, we can ensure that in situations when enemy aerial assets have infiltrated the national territory, a layer of defense is still available to directly protect vital assets on the ground for continuous defense operations, Castillo said. Missile Simulator Facility In anticipation of this capability, the PAF formally accepted its first ever missile simulator, the SPAD Simulator Training Center last April 26. The facility is located at Basa Air Base and will allow the Air Force to train on various surface air missile engagement techniques. The SPAD Simulator Training Center is the AFP's first missile training center, which will serve as a training ground for future missile operators to prepare them for real-world challenges, as well as to increase personnel knowledge, skills, and develop the right attitude for air and missile defense, then PAF spokesperson Colonel Maynard Mariano said. The simulator training center aims to develop three different capabilities detection through radar, command, and control, and missile firing.